So I'm really excited about this one. I want to show you guys an advanced program that I designed for a player committed to LSU for next year. He's also working his way up to be an MLB draft next year as well. Here we go. So a little bit of background on this player, a uh, ton of bat speed. Um, he really lacked the ability to control his load, uh, most importantly control his unload. A lot of times he'd have to just swing fast to make up for being a little bit late. And he wasn't late because he wasn't swinging fast. He wasn't late because he loaded late. Let's remember, this was designed for him and what he needs. It might work for you, but also this might not be what you need exactly. So if you want your own custom plan, head over to treyhandum.com. Uh, it's probably my link, probably my bio, or send me a message, and we'll take you to the next level. He never completed his load. Therefore, he could never unload when he needed to. So we really focus a ton on when he's loading and how he's unloading. It doesn't matter how early you load. You have to get loaded. A lot of players try to load early trying to load early, but they never get fully loaded, right? This was kind of this was kind of him. Now for him, he's trying to change directions fast, which, which is, or change directions when he needs to, which is very, very important, the most important. So he's trying to load early, right? He's trying to change directions. What he used to do is try to load early, but he would never change directions. We gotta go from A to B. He would always go from A, and when he when he launches swing, he would stay up there. So what you see, this is his warm up every day. It's uh. After he does his, his routine of his swing movements, he goes right into the quick reactionary uh, machine. It's, uh, it's only 20 feet away. It's not like a super hard pitch, but it's a very, very quick pitch. Uh, it puts his swing in a really tight window. Uh, it seems like a lot of players have really quick swings, uh, especially on side toss, because they have to be, because it's a really short toss, and their swing has to be really, really short, and that's what we, that's what we need to hit fast pitching. Most importantly, to be able to hit fast pitching, but also having a short enough swing where we don't have to commit too early and we can hit multiple pitches, we can react. So I love the quick reaction here because it makes him get to a really good spot and he has to be able to fire. If he doesn't fire and change directions like we talked about earlier in the video, he's not able to hit this. And this is typically my lie detector test for a lot of hitters. And what I see, what I see from a lot of hitters is these are their best swings. Uh, they might be a little bit too quick. They might lose direction a little bit, but we can adjust for that later down the road. Um, we got to get to the ball first. A lot of players focus on direction too early, and they end up pushing. They don't launch very quick. They don't change directions. And hitting, got to be able to change directions. Well, also, yes, we got to hold direction. So for this, he's really trying to focus on changing directions fast. Staying on the ball, you can see he's focusing on head down, but uh, really focus on changing directions fast and shortening his swing up. Most importantly, I say, okay, these are your best swings. These are your quickest swings. Then we progress into really, really slow swings. Uh, Corey Seager does these a ton from 60 to 65 feet, so I'm told. Um, and what we do is, what we do is, we try to get the exact same swing, exact same swing speed, exact same change direction, load and unload type move off the really, really slow. So I had him push back to about 40, 45 feet, 50 feet, and almost at the same speed. We ramped, we ramped it up a little bit, but almost the same speed, and it's like a lob, it's like a lob pitch. On top of that, and to talk, um, I had him. Um, focus on taking the exact same shortness and quick, powerful swing as if it's a short swing, or maybe short box, is that whatever you want to call it, really up close reactionary pitch, to when he pushes all the way back to that lob pitch. Um, we want the exact same speed. It seems like a lot of guys, they start getting out front, their, their swing starts to get a little bit slower, all that type of stuff. We want the exact same speed as if you're up close and it's, it's, uh, it's feeling like it's 95 and on you, right? That's the feeling. On top of that, I had him go short bat. Uh, I forgot what, what the exact shortness on the bat is. You can go 22 inches, 25, 26, 28, whatever it is. You can even just choke up. Um, you can even just choke up to it or choke up to it. Uh, right underneath the ink dot, right underneath the pine tar. Very, very important. What the short bat does is it takes away the length of your bat. When it takes away the length of your bat, say you choke up five inches on a 33 inch bat, now your bat's only 28 inches. Now that ball has to travel five more inches. I love it for guys who struggle with letting the ball travel. You make their bat shorter, now they can't extend, now they can't reach for it as much. The ball has to feel like it comes more into their body, which is great for, uh, for letting the balls travel and contact points and trust. Then at the end, we go normal speed, firm, uh, 50 feet, uh, 55 feet, whatever you want. We try to get the exact same uh, quick swing that we did on the quick reactionary. Kind of putting it all together, kind of some free swings, maybe three sets of five, whatever, but we're trying to get the exact same ingredients we got in the short box, uh, in the short, quick reactionary swings, and in the lob pitch. We're really really trying to focus on loading early, most importantly getting loaded, then firing and change directions fast while also maintaining direction. You can see a lot of palm up finishes. That's his, that's his full swing. Uh, that's just what he does, and head down stuff. Uh, we don't want to sell out for quick reactionary, but we also want to make sure that 
uh, we can load and unload. That's what the game calls for.